guys real quick so a couple of you have been asking me about uh, how I filled my raised beds in particular the raised beds that I have here with the tomatoes that are turning into a jungle so back in the autumn I went and purchased the boards right here that I have for the sides of these raised beds they're simply two by two by twelves um, they were eight feet long each box took three of them, one of them I cut in half to do the ends, and then the other sides, I, you know, I left solid, and then I just screwed them together with uh, nice, sturdy wood screws that are made for the outdoors. And then on the inside, the first thing I did was I lined the bottom of this with uh, cardboard, not the kind that, not pizza boxes or any other kind of glossy um, cardboard, just ordinary corrugated plain cardboard. And when I did that, I overlapped the edges so that there were no gaps. And then after that, I put in a good bed of old horse manure. And um, this manure I got from a farmer, they posted it on Craigslist and just said, free manure, come get it, take all you want. And so that is what I did. And so there's about Let's see, these are 12 inch uh, beds. I filled them with probably four to six inches of horse manure. And then I came back and I filled uh, another several inches with ordinary topsoil. And I just got that at my local uh, farming supply store. And then I just took a pitchfork or a shovel and I mixed the two together. So it was just horse manure, old, you know, old horse manure, not fresh. You don't want fresh because that's, you can't use that right away for your garden. So old manure and dirt, and I mixed it all together. And then as it sat in here, it settled down. So you can see uh, the boxes aren't completely filled. You know, I've got a few inches here and that's okay. Then when it came time to prep them for planting in, I layered newspaper on top. And if I pull back the straw here, you can see that I have the newspaper there. And you can use any kind of newspaper, but you don't want the kind of paper that is shiny like magazines. You just want the plain, uh, dull newspaper print. And again, I overlap the sides, the edges of that newspaper to make sure that there, there's no gaps. You don't want there to be gaps because grass and weeds and everything will come up through that. And then on top, I put a nice thick layer of straw. I use straw because it's easy for me to get and it's fairly inexpensive. Um, and this will break down eventually and become the next layer of dirt in this box. I don't have to pull it out or anything like that. And the reason I put the newspaper in and then the straw is not just for um, weed control, but also for moisture. You really want your plants to stay uh, moist that you don't want the soil to dry out in the summertime and you especially want to use mulch of some sort when you're planting tomatoes because if you've got exposed dirt down here you know putting the whole drying out thing aside when you have exposed soil next to tomato plants and it rains the soil splashes up on the tomatoes leaves and the leaves can start getting blight and other diseases so you really want to keep your tomato plants dry. I know that sounds odd, but it does. You want the roots to be wet, but you want the plant itself to be able to dry out. And so that's how I put these raised beds together. I have three that I did like that, one, two, and a third over here. And they were all done the exact same way, cardboard on the bottom. And that just blocked out anything from growing up because I didn't do anything to the, to the turf down here. I just covered it up and I just left it. So I put down cardboard, and then the horse manure and the topsoil, mixed it all together, and then I added the newspaper and the straw on top. Then when it came time to plant, I would just pull the straw back to expose the newspaper, and I would take my little sharp um, hand shovel, and I would just poke a little hole in the newspaper and peel it back just big enough to plant my plant inside. And then I would pull the newspaper back up close to the stem of the plant, pull the straw back up next to the plant, and that was it. It was really easy. Now when you're using straw, yes, once in a while the straw might grow a little bit, and that's okay. It's not the end of the world. 
You know, I don't think that there's any garden system out there that will ever be 100% weed free. And that's just the way it is. I, I don't mind weeding once in a while if it means I've got a good healthy garden. And there you go. That's how I did my raised beds.